everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review with me. And today I'm covering a mod that I've technically covered twice before, but never like this. At long last, we have got a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure mod on 1.12.2, on a later version of Minecraft. Huzzah! So yeah, uh, we're covering the uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, aka the Steve's Bizarre Adventure uh, mod, which I covered twice before. I covered its original version, which was 1.6.4, and was abandoned. Uh, then, uh, Demon Knight, oh god, every time I say his name, I always forget if it's the right way, if I'm saying the right way around or not, and he quotes saying he always checks to see if people say it the right way around, <laughs> and it puts the pressure on, but yeah, uh, Knight Demon, yeah, Knight Demon, um, he picked up the mod, and basically reworked it about, and brought it over 1.7.10, which, yeah, it was quite good, it was a different improvement, because it changed a lot of the functions, made it a lot more playable and made it more, more like it made it capable for survival play essentially because the, the original version was not the original version to get a stand you pretty much had to you be creative and stuff and there just wasn't much to it whereas uh he broke down certain bits certain features had to get removed and stuff and get reworked and stuff and da, da, da. but it became playable in survival it got improved and then from there he went on the colossal task of moving it to 1.12.2 which to my understanding moving a mod from 1.7.10 to 1.12.2 is going through 1.8, 9, 10, 11. It's, it's skipping a few steps there. I imagine that's quite a lot of work. And, I mean, going by when he said he had, like, thousands of errors, he had to manually go through one by one. I believe, yeah, it was probably quite a lot of work. So, yeah, hats off to him. He managed to do it in, like, a fairly, like, what seemed like a very short period of time for shifting mods about. So, yeah, this mod, it brings JoJo stuff into um, Minecraft, and in, in this time into 1.12.2, which gives us a bunch of mods to mix it with, which will be beautiful. But right, anyway, let's go through the mod. Let's go see what we've got, what's available. Now, I should mention just to start off, uh, certain new things were added in, but certain features had to be, like, temporarily disabled because, like, they just didn't work in 1.12 currently, so they're getting, like, remade. And that's just me reading off, like, that's... It says that in the change log. So, when it gets to those features, I'll just basically uh, take note of that. But for now, let's just go through things bit by bit, and we'll see what's what. So, to start us off, right, so we're going to want to get a stand. I mean, I imagine most people are going to want to get a stand. If you if you put the JoJo's money in, you probably want a stand. So to start us off, the thing we're going to need is we're going to need the hard arrow. To get the hard arrow, instantly some obsidian and some iron. Cool. So, yeah, that crafting recipe was added in, in 1.7.10. That's an addition by Night Demon, which, yeah, it just wasn't in the original version. So that's cool. Following that, you're going to need some vampire blood. Now, I, know, I actually saw in the comments of my last thing, technically vampire blood has nothing to do with creating a stand. Fair enough. But... That's inside the mod, and that's the way we can make it in survival. That That's already in the mod, so just let's roll with it and not care about the minor details about that. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Doesn't matter, though. This is Minecraft. <laughs> in Minecraft, we put items together to create new items that should not have came from those items. It it does Don't worry about the little details. Point is not, we need vampire blood. So to do that, you're going to want to go kill vampires. We'll get to those. So combine those two together, and you'll get yourself a stand arrow. Or, you can use the Vampire Blood, combine it with some cobblestone, and you can make the Vampire Mask, which, yeah, basically, or the Stone Mask, sorry. Which, yeah, acts as an armor piece, you know, you could just wear it, and you could just wear it as an armor, which, by the way, got a new texture, uh, for this new version. So, that was a thing. I don't actually remember what it looked like before, but I think it's, like, whiter and stuff. I'd have to compare them, like, I don't, I generally don't remember what it looks like, so I'm not wearing the Stone Mask in the old version for a little while, but this one, I imagine, looks better. So, that's cool. Now, wearing it just itself is not going to give you any vampire powers. This by itself does nothing right now. So, to unlock the vampire powers, you need to do another particular thing with it. But we'll get to that. We're not going to do that right now. We'll do that in a little bit because I'll probably die when I do that. Vampires don't like the sun. Or, well, they don't like the sun, but now we've got a way to fix that. So, we can get some dark black wool, which is coal and... Yeah, uh, more, more black wool. I was looking at that there. It's charcoal or coal with black wool. That gives us really black wool stuff. With that, we can get a dark cloak pack, which is just it's eight bits of that. What the dark cloak pack does is you click it, blop, on the ground. There we go. You click on an object, and it gives you a dark cloak pieces. So it's basically like an armor set. And, I mean, armor-wise, how good is this armor? Six, four... Three. So above chainmail, it's between uh, between chainmail and leather. So it's not very strong. But then again, it's made of wool. So I don't think it's really meant to be. Also, just for a second, I'm gonna go into the survival mode just to like 
put this stuff on. So essentially, you put this stuff on. Da, da, da. Um, it's a bit puffy. I will admit, it's a bit puffy. But essentially, what it's meant to be, it's meant to be like a weird cloak. This is not meant to last a long time. Uh, from what I've understood, it's meant to be like just a weird little cloak thing, just to shove on. So it's, it looks puffy and stuff. It is puffy. That's sort of the point of it. Um, it's, it's just when you put the full lot on, it becomes really puffy. But that's sort of the point of it. It's built for vampires. You never guess why. It's, it turns into a cloak for vampires. It's to keep vampires out of the sun. I know it doesn't have a hood, but we're not going to worry about that detail. I'm guessing that's intentional. Uh, for whatever reason. Yeah, because I thought I reached a little bit of a helmet or something. No, there's no helmet anywhere. It's just you put those three pieces on, and that's, that's you. You're good to go. At least I think we are. I mean, we're going to test that theory in a little bit when we become a vampire, but... Yeah, and then, oh, aside from that, we've also got Dio's knife, which is made from a wooden sword, iron, that gets you three of them, which... Actually, let's just quickly bring in a few of them. So, this knife used to have a bit of a glitch with it. Had a wee bit of a glitch with it. What used to happen, that's not... Hold on, cheat mode on. Da, da, da. No, give me all of them. There we go. And there we go. It's fixed. So, basically what used to happen, this knife used to be glitched, where if you threw it, it actually hit you. And that sucked. Oh, it's got a nice little texture thing in the ground as well. Uh, because, obviously, it hit you. It didn't hit the thing it was going to hit. It just, it got flung. It hit you. Night Demon's fixed that. So now, blah, we can throw it. It's got a nice wee texture for sticky and things. This is nice. So now, finally, we can have Dio's knives. Huzzah. I mean... How much damage did they do? Let's test that theory as well. We have golems for this for this exact job of throwing knives at it. I mean, they don't feel it anyway. They don't feel anything. Da, 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 da. There we go. Throw a wee knife at them. Bop! Did one. So they're not exactly strong. Then again, if you're a vampire, you'll hit a wee bit harder than I currently do. So yeah, that's just a bit, in basic. They'll, you'll get three of them. They do one damage, throwing them at normal things. Cool. Just nice little additions. Right, so, uh, vampires. Let's actually just look at that stuff first before we go into the stands, because I feel like it's probably we may as well. So, um, I'm just going to get quickly get another stone mask. So there's a few things you can do with the stone mask. Oh, and just, th th there it is. Blah. So if you want to get rid of it, by the way, there is a thing. So it used to be if you put it, if you put it on the anvil, or if you hit it off the anvil and that, it used to break it. It doesn't do that anymore. But if you right-click the stone mask off of a, uh, thingy, iron block, it breaks it, and you get some cobble out of it. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I guess just if you want to be the good guy and destroy the mask. I also seemed to put the mask on my face there, but that was like, that was a texture thing there. I wasn't meant to do that. Uh, I guess if you just want to be a good guy and destroy the mask, you can break it down the cobblestone. So that's an option. But right, aside from that, bop. So you put the mask on. Huzzah. To become a vampire. Also, this is, this is going to be a thing. Now, is this working exactly how I think it is? You're supposed to... No, it's not. No, it's not working like that. I think it has to be a villager. Well, luckily, there's a village right there. Uh, right, so, in order to do, in order to, uh, there are different options for this. There's a config for this. To become a vampire, you put the stone mask on. You're supposed to, I believe by default, strike a villager. Basically, draw blood from them. Hurt them. So, really super basic thing, as you might expect. Yeah, we got a wee village here. Let's just go terrorize it really quick by striking one of the people and say, wait a minute, those aren't normal testificates. Oh, God, I've got other mods in here. Oh, there we go. It's kicked in. So now that I've drew blood from him, I now get the vampire boost. So, with the vamp as a vampire, we get night vision, we get jump boost 2, we get speed 2, strength 2, and haste. Now, uh, the cloak. So we're going to put that on really quick, and we're going to test it. There we go. So now that we're a vampire with the mask on, now it looks right. Wait, so if we take this off. Yes, it... Oh, no, the hood is on. I just couldn't see it because of my hair originally. No, it does have a hood. It does have a hood. I just couldn't see it because of my hair. Okay, no, that makes more sense now. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't have a hood? That's a bit weird. No, no, it does. You're fine. I think it always did. I think I was just crazy. This looks sinister. Imagine this walking towards you. Right, we've got the cloak now. Oh my god. Right, so you go outside with it, and what the cloak actually does is it'll get damaged in the sunlight instead of you getting damaged as a vampire. Because vampires naturally can't go in the sunlight. That's a thing. So, yeah, this just lets them walk about for a little bit. Only for a little bit, though. As you can see, the armor durability is going down rapidly. So, even if, like, even if you, uh, you mega enchant it with Unbreaking Sea, unless you make it permanently unbreakable, you're going to be stuck indoors. But, you know, as a vampire, obviously, we're a lot stronger. That's really nice. Also, I, f I feel like, yeah, I'm about to die in a second. That's going to be bad. Um, can I throw a knife at something really quick just to test how much damage it does? If I can make it somewhere without burning to death? Um, give it a go. Da, 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 da. I can get there in time. Oh, three. Come on, villager. There's a villager. Ow, no! 
That didn't end well for me. Right, well, I died, so I no longer am a vampire now. Um, oh, the stone mask get damaged as well. Interesting. Oh, there's maybe a thing with the stone mask. Yeah, I don't know if it's if it actually does it. There's maybe a thing. I don't know if this is a feature that's in or a feature that's planned to be in. There's maybe a feature with the still mask where it says that it's used. I think that might be a config option or it's a future plan thing. I, I can't remember. Either way, though, um, there's maybe a thing where the still mask, if it's been used already, then someone else can't use it. That may be an option, though. But yeah, okay. Well, either way, it's a vampire. You get strength, too, so you might hit a bit harder and stuff. But limited in the sunlight, you're going to be wanting to be doing your work at night. Right, that was a vampire. I, dying, by the way, obviously took my vampire powers. You can set the config to not do that. Like, you can set a config so that you keep your vampire powers and stand. Because if you die, normally you lose your stand as well. So, yeah, that's just a wee thing to... And should be right. Anyway, moving on. On to the stand. So, uh, yeah, we get a stand arrow for mixing blood, vampire blood, and a hard arrow together. Boom. So, what we do now is... And this is something that Nadine also put in. So, originally, you'd have to be in creative mode to press this arrow. Now we can do it in survival. Huzzah. So, clicking the stand out, you'll get a random stand. In this case, I've gotten Silver Shariato. So, yeah, we just end up with him. Uh, every stand will pretty much give you a little boost. Well, I think I think every stand does. There's certain stands that are a bit like, they don't have as much going for them yet. Just because they're not really, like, fully implemented in. But most stands will give you some kind of power-up. So, in this case, I get Haste. Because I've got Silver Chariot. Also, just to note, having your stand out... Uh, will drain your hunger quicker. So I think it. I think I noted it was like every twenty seconds. And again, in the configs, you can disable that. I think it's like every twenty seconds. Just having my standout, I'll lose hunger. But yeah, silver chariot. Basically, I can strike really fast. Da da da. He's got limited range. Obviously, there you go. And I'm hitting this thing, hitting really fast because silver chariot's just hitting really fast. Or if I run and hit, he'll do his big ultimate move, which just hits all over the place really fast. That's Silver Chariot, though. That's all he really does. Just straight quick. Right, also, oh, we can press in by default F. That make it go away. Press F again. It'll come out. Cool. Oh, yeah, also using the big ultimate moves and stuff drains your hunger really fast. Or, I say really fast. It drains a set amount of hunger off you. So, in this case, I think Silver Chariot is three. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah, we lose three hunger just by using his move there. Also, it looks like, wait, did we just get a... Yeah, so we get speed three while we're doing this as well, so we can like also, I guess, strike extra as well or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's yeah, I like it. That's quite cool. But yeah. Oh, and also just to note, if your stand gets hurt, technically you get hurt as well. So for example, da, 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 we take a flint on stool and we burn our stand. Ow! Feck! That didn't go as planned. I hit the grass. But out. Uh, right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do this properly. Breaks. Oh, God. He's trying to heat as well. Right. So, put that there. Wait, what? Mate, get anything. Do not. Either he's avoiding that or... No, it's just not doing it anymore. It used to do it. Is that not a thing anymore? It used to be like your stand gets hit, you take damage. Maybe it just doesn't work with the fire anymore. I don't know. Maybe that's just been either like patched over or something. But it's supposed to be if your stand gets hit, you'll take damage as well. So if someone attacks your stand, you'll take damage as well. I assume I can... Like, I would say I can't hit the stand. I assume if someone else hits it, it will, I'll still take damage. But whatever. Anyway, that's something to test with multiplayer with other people. Da, da, da. Right, so that was just a random stand. So in order to get rid of him, normally now I need to die. We don't necessarily need to though because there's this little creative item that works. So... Well, actually, no, I think there was another method as well. I think there was a there was a survival method added in uh, for it as well. I don't remember what it was, though. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure in one of the updates there was an up there was a thing added in. I think it was a gold block. I'm pretty sure there was a method added in so that you could technically get rid of your stand. I forget what it is. Anyway, this this method works anyway. So um, we can just you can take your uh, not stand disc. The stand disc is in. Yeah, there's no cre uh, there's no recipe. I don't know what it does. I can never get it to work. So that's the thing. But yeah, okay. So this creative item one. It's supposed to give you 50 XP to you on use, or when used against an iron block, deletes uh, the stand without dying. So boom. Wait, what? Oh yeah, right click, right click. There we go. So right click the block. Boom. So much it's gone. I lose the bonus. He's no longer here, and I can get another stand. But yeah. Um, I don't know what the stand this does. It's never done anything. It's just oh, it's just always been here. 
There's a creative one. It's supposed to give you experience. That was another thing, by the way. So, experience. Uh, when you've got your stand, you start getting experience for it. And then, after you gain enough experience, you can use its bigger moves. For the, se for the sake of this review, I put the, uh, the gain age up to max. Just so I can use all the moves. But normally, you'd have to wait, like, a couple of minutes before you can use their bigger moves. Just because... I don't know. You guys stand straight away. Why, how would you know how to use their best moves? you got to take a little bit of time to work with it. I don't know. Either way. Point is... Experience is a thing. Alright, so now we'll just go through the stand. So, uh, let's just go through them. So, we'll go through the less useful ones first. So, these three. We have got Echo. Um, he doesn't really work. Uh, we get Echo's egg. He's not fully implemented. I don't think he's got his higher form. Unless it's been added uh, more recently. He doesn't have his higher forms. Now, technically, as it stands right now, you're supposed to gain one experience every three seconds. I think that's how it would work for Echo. There's enough experience to pass and they transform. I'm going to set to gain 100 per one. That's the absolute max. Which means after just a handful of seconds, you will use all your stand abilities. But yeah, Echoes doesn't do anything. He's just in the game like this. But eventually, something will come of him. But for now, there is nothing. there's no reason for him. Following that, we've got Killer Queen. Killer Queen! Ooh, I like the voice thing there. But yeah, um, Killer Queen's another one. He used to have abilities, but because the abilities need to get reworked, they're not currently in. Da -da -da. Uh, so he can do... Pretty much just a regular punch. I mean, it doesn't even break blocks. Yeah, Killer Queen is just not really working right now. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything special. He's getting no real benefit to him. Uh, he looks cool, at least. So there's that. You can have Lord Beerus floating around after you. But, that, okay, Killer Queen's a bit pointless right now. He just hasn't been fully uh, worked in yet. But he's there, and he'll eventually do something, I imagine. But just, but just for now, for now, he doesn't do anything. He's just getting Star Platinum sound for punching right now. Then we've got Sticky Finger, which, yeah, is from, yeah, from the fifth one. So, um, last I checked, he didn't really have much going for me. So he's got a punch, he's got his beatdown punch, which is two. That's it, though, I believe. Like, testing all the abilities and stuff. Yeah, I think that's all he does currently. Like, I don't think he's, his other abilities have been added yet. And if they have, I apologize. But, yeah, I, I don't remember seeing them get added. <laughs> If that's the case. So, yeah, and I'm just trying different things now. Nothing's really triggering for him. So, yeah, I, I think Sticky Fingers right now, he's just got his basic, most basic stuff. I mean, to be fair, actually, most of the characters in this don't have, like, immense tons of things going for him. There's one who has a lot of things going for him. And then some, a, a, some people's their things have just been disabled currently, just so, you know, they can get reworked. But whatever. Anyway, that was the, least, the less useful three. Next, move on to Silver Chariot. We've already seen, so we'll just ignore him. We've got Magician's Red, the Emperor, and Crazy Diamond. So, we'll go Magician's Red first. Magician's Red, the Fire Chicken, shoots fire, as you may expect. Also starts fires, as you may expect. Run in punch rhythm. And yeah, he does crossfire. I think that time for that's been shortened uh, since the previous one. I think his timer for that went down, because that used to be a really long move. It took forever. Oh god, fire ticks on. Uh, slash, game rule, do a fire tick. But yeah, turn that off, please, before I burn down the whole forest again. Because I already did that over there once upon a time. Right, um, that's basically Magician's Dread. I don't think he's any other abilities or anything. It's just basically shoots fire. Also, you become fireproof when you've got him, which is cool. But that's, that's all you've got going for him. Which, it's just, if you like fire in that, he's the bird for you, I suppose. But I disappear you before I accidentally set everything over here in fire as well. Goodbye. Next up, the Emperor. So during my last review, I never actually used him, and there was a re there was kind of a reason for that. It kind of glitched out for me last time. I don't know if that was like a thing or what, what happened with that. But essentially, I tried to summon the Emperor, and he basically just disappeared out of my hand straight away. And I got really confused. Although maybe that was just because I don't understand. I don't know. But either way, the Emperor is a gun. That's the stand. Basically, it shoots. What? Wow. Actually, where'd that golem go? I don't know. Either way, he's wandered off to freedom. All right. Well, we'll get another one out. Bop, bop, bop. Break that, break that. Bop. Wait, what? Emperor? What the hell? It got, it's gone. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So you can press F to make it disappear. The Emperor. Basically, you shoot. Oh, the Emperor's not working currently there. Okay, the, the idea of the Emperor was supposed to be that pretty much. Or maybe it only works on hostiles. Oh, 
Hold on, let's just quickly check this. This is this is a dangerous game. No, it doesn't work. Oh dear. Right, so the Emperor. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, Iron Golems have a defense a bit def or defensive. I didn't realize that. Okay, so when you take your hand off the Emperor, he vanishes after a few seconds. Makes sense, because that means you can't just leave in your inventory and get like another stand or something, or dead to dare storm or anything. Cool. Oh yeah, wait, he does more damage against... Oh wait, maybe Iron Golems are the worst thing to fight against. I think they're more defensive. So like... Ah, oh, Hold on. Spider. Spider, spider. But... So, Emperor... Oh, fa no! You... Ah! God damn you! Spiders! Spider! Emperor! Yeah, that is... Yeah, five. Okay, so uh, golems do... And golem does three against... Okay, so yeah, they're, they're, they're more defensive. Okay. So in this case... Yeah, knives do three. So basically, all the damage I showed against the golems... Yeah, it does two more than that against regular mobs. Or unarmored opponents. Cool, good to know. Right, well, that's the Emperor anyway. Just gonna quickly get rid of him now. Finally, Crazy Diamond. It's a Crazy Diamond. Got a punch, which is really short range. He's got a beatdown move. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oops. I didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> oh, God. I actually didn't mean to kill him there. I actually wanted to keep him alive because Crazy Diamond's got another ability, so, like, Oh wait, no, it's not that short range. What the hell? Weird. Anyway, um, if you jump, if you shift and jump with them, it switches mode from destruction to restoration. So, but so in this case now, if I punch the golem, it'll give a healing effect. And if I do the beat down, rather than beating him up, it'll actually just, you know, fix him up. Also, just to know, if you do that move on the ground and stuff, hold on, just quickly eat again to get my stamina back. There we go. We can like kind of run through the ground because the ground kind of gets moved around. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> to be fair, what it used to do is it used to knock the ground up. Yeah, hold on, let's see if it does that still. Yeah, so like it mostly knocks up in the air and then back down. But it seems to be depending on your angle, it'll knock it up and not actually fully break it. Whereas if you're in destruction mode. Oh, come on. Da. Hunger. Yeah, it'll just destroy everything. Crazy Diamond's one's pretty long. Or it's a decent length of time. Yeah, that could do a lot of damage to folk if it hits them. I thought it was really short range there for a second. No, I think I think he was just a bit further away from me there. Because, yeah, your stand needs to be kind of close by, I suppose. Oh, God, no! I didn't mean that. Stop it, you. Go away. But, yeah, so that's Crazy Diamond. He's pretty cool. I like him. Blah. Next up, we've got oh, the last three. So, the last three we've got, we've got the world door. Star Platinum and the Hand. You might be wondering, why have you left the Hand till last? There's a good reason for that. And we'll get to it in a minute. But right, okay, so we'll go for, we'll go for Star Platinum first. So Star Platinum. Blop. So, as you may expect, punches, death. Yeah, I think he was, I think th that first punch was really close range because he was quite far away. So, basically Star Platinum, as you might expect. Eek. Come on, there we go. Uh, punch, does damage. Huzzah. Could you a big beatdown move. Oh, no, I can't because I'm not getting hunger. Oh, God. Wait, start platinum? You're eating me through my hunger really fast, mate. Oh, my. Oh, my. I think that's a bit of a glitch. I don't think he's meant to do that. But, yeah. Uh, basically, he can punch. He hits really hard. Cool. Start platinum, go away for a second. You're, like, actually draining my hunger to death. What on earth? I know why it's doing that. Or I know the idea why it's meant to be doing that. What it used to be is if you shift and jumped with them, uh, it did time stop. Now, that's been disabled. Which, yeah, unfortunate. It's, it was a kill cool feature, but it's been disabled. It does not work in 1.12.2. That's one of the features that got disabled just for the version up. It had to be. It wasn't working. It was, it was apparently a bit glitchy in 1.7.10. And, yeah, just straight up didn't work in this version. My hunger going down like it is, that's going down is if I've got time stop on. That's how fast it would normally go down if I activated the time stop ability. So I guess that's a bit of a glitch right now where it's it's doing that. So I guess that'll get patched eventually. But yeah, that, that's something meant to do that when you've got time stop on. It's meant to do that for the full duration. 
you know, let you lose all your hunger, or may lose all the hunger in that time. But anyway, next up we've got the world door. Blop, so, same as Star Platinum, punch, beat down, a lot shorter beat down for the world, drains hunger and stuff. And yeah, he's doing the exact same, he's doing the same glitches as Star Platinum, so the world's ability doesn't work right now. I guess because it's disabled, it's like, it's breaking and like, it's draining your hunger a lot quicker because of that, so that's a bit unfortunate. Oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, so that's the world though. See, I start playing the world normally really, really, really good because they've got like extra abilities to hold mobs in place for about a few seconds. And that normally drains your hunger at the speed you saw there, but that's only when the ability is getting used. But right now they're a bit, they're a bit glitchier and they're not like the top tier. I'd say like Crazy Diamond's better than them currently just because he's getting more going on from. But right, so the reason why we left the hand to last, the hand's actually the one that's had the most work done with them currently. Now, I don't know why the hands had the most work done with them, but yeah, okay, so you get Resistance 3, which I think is the same as what you get for Star Platinum in the world. Uh, basically, yeah, hand, punch. Wait, what? Oh, this isn't doing what it used to do. Or it is. Ah, oh, this is weird. Alright, so, um, maybe, maybe I'm misreading this. Alright, so basically the hand has a couple of different abilities. You've got a lot of stuff going for him because the hand... Oh, what's the... It scraps things. That's the thing. He's also draining my hunger really fast there, but I guess he's supposed to do every 20 seconds. Right, so, the hand's abilities. Uh, he scraps things. So he punches things, it scraps them. Or it's meant to anyway. Or he's meant to have a scrapping ability. Now, I actually had read... Is this in the change... Is it saying the change log? Well, I'm actually just going to go up the change log right now. Um, added... Barrage attack for the hand. Okay, but it's, um, okay, but it's not doing that. Also, made only sneak punch for the hand causes scrap effect against entities. Well, I mean, there's no entities here. Let's summon an entity and see what happens when we punch it. But, but, but. Yeah, that scrapped him, all right. So, yeah, basically the hand, it scraps things. It's not actually scrapping objects, though, strangely. Like, it's made to scrap all the things here, but it's not. That's weird. Um, right, so aside from that, you can also hold down his, the sneak timer. It will draw in objects. And if you wait, like, enough time and jump, it will then scrap things around you. I like, hold on. Let's, like, is it, is it six seconds? Five. No, nine? Wait, what? Oh, no, I've got no hunger left, that's why. <laughs> I, was, I was getting confused, so I went, oh, this time it's not working. Too hungry to attack. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Right, so, yeah. Snake. Down. So, this will draw the items in, because we're scrapping the space in between them. And it's six seconds. It scraps all the, item, uh, the all the things around you. Cool. And then the last thing, which... Yeah, so this is supposed to be a beatdown, I suppose, but it's not right now. Uh, basically, you run and you punch, and it does the hands ability where he scraps the space in front of you. Meaning you teleport because there's no space in front of you. So you just you just move. Ow, ow, ow. That didn't work quite as planned. But yeah, to deactivate that one, you're going to be running and moving with it. But yeah, why is it not? That's weird. But yeah, also, it goes towards where you're aiming. So you got to be careful where you aim. Because if you aim, like, down towards the ground, you'll just, you'll literally just move a step. But if you aim, like, quite far away and jump with it and that, you can actually go a fair distance. So... A really cool ability. A really cool ability. It's, it's cool. The hand's getting a lot of work done to him to begin with. Like, you're supposed to have a barrage. You're supposed to have that. It's supposed to be sneak punch to uh, scrap things. That doesn't seem to have kicked in, though, which is weird. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe now you're doing this. Maybe that's a future thing. Maybe, maybe I'm misreading it. I don't know. Either way, it's supposed to be if you shift click something, it scraps it. Normal punch would just punch it. The, the running punch normally would be teleport, but it's supposed to have a barrage attack added. It, there is a barrage attack. I have no idea how to activate it, so. That's the thing, but yeah. Hands are the most dark dumb time right now. A weird choice of one, but he's got such a unique ability, I can't really blame him for using him as like a one to do a lot of work on, because yeah, he scraps things. Sounds simple, but it's a kill ability. So yeah, I don't I don't blame him. But right, anyway, that's pretty much it though. So that's all the different stands. There's a fair few of them. Uh some of them obviously get more stuff going for them than others currently. But just about all of them bar like Echoes and stuff at least has like some kind of punch ability or some kind of beatdown ability. They have something at least, so you're not you're not without like options. Plus, I'm 
fairly certain it was that we implemented, so in survival, you can get rid of your stand. I forget what said method is, but there is definitely a method. Um, God. That's... Yeah, well, it's none of these things anyway. Uh, I know there's definitely something for it, unless maybe that's not actually implemented yet either. Either way. Right, so that's it for the stands and stuff. There is one last thing to look at. That's the mobs. So, may as well just quickly. So, I'm in this slot. So, slash time set 1800. So, yeah. Uh, there's a few mobs in this. Only three. We've got the vampire thrall, which pretty much comes to try and kill you at night time. He's, he's pretty nasty. And you don't really want to get hit by him. Oh, no. He's weakened now. Oh. My resistance to him actually should run from him. He used to grab hold of you and drain your health super fast. He's, he's actually a lot weaker now. Kill him! Oh god. You know what? New plan, new plan, new plan. Summon the Hamon users. Help me! Help me for god's sake. The Hamon users will basically, uh, they'll attack vampires. They'll attack a bad mobs and stuff. And they should try to kill them. They're not doing very much damage though. Uh, there's a config to alter the damage. Okay, I'm actually getting sick. This guy's literally weak. He's literally stuck on me at this point. Oh my god. Mate! Mate, leave me alone! I can't get him off! <laughs> Go away! Right, he's dead now. He's dead now. He's just giving me a really solid hug there. I could not get him off me there. Right, yeah. So, how about use this? So, there's supposed to be a way to learn it. I'm not actually sure how exactly you learn it. But what I do know is if you take a stone mask and give it to them. I don't know if this one will work because, well, reasons. Yeah, this tames them. So now that I have on user, he'll actually follow me around. Like, as if he was like some kind of dog or cat. So, you also make him sit and stay. So, I don't know how you learn Hamon yourself. I think I saw a person say it's been currently disabled. I don't know if that is true or not. But yeah, you can at least, you can have a Hamon user follow you around and help you. That's the thing. Oh yeah, now we've got this guy, the Diva, Diva Vario. I don't know who that is. I don't know from which version of Jojo he is, but he's there. He doesn't do anything. I don't even think he fights at this point. Right. Ah. Oi! God damn it. Admit. Ah! The Catch him! Fight me! There we go. Oh, wait. It did a bit of text there. I think he's, ru he's running away a lot. I think he's meant to run away. Right, I can't catch him. I don't care. Why is he's a guy? He doesn't actually do anything. It just seems like he's set to run away from you. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to do anything yet. But he's in the game. I guess he's going to be a boss later on. So that's cool, I guess. But right. Oh, yeah. And also, uh, these guys, the Hamon users and the vampires, will all spawn in the overworld. Vampires are who you get the um, the blood off of. I don't think Hamon users drop anything of use. And I don't know like, if there is a way to learn Hamon yet. But I. Ham Am I saying that right? Hamon? Hamon? I may be pronouncing it wrong. Whatever. Anyway, um, if there is, I have to see in the future. I mean, once this mug gets updated tomorrow, we'll no doubt do another review, which I'll probably have learned at that point how it works, if there is a way. I think it's disabled right now, though. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, right, that's it, though, for the mods, I believe. I believe I've covered everything that I know of that I think's seen. All of it, like, I think there's still other features, but they're currently disabled. I don't know what the hand steel is. The hand, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be able to, like, like, he, like he scraps things. That's his whole thing. Apparently, he's just breaking those blocks, though. I mean, obviously, I could do the shift thing down. But he does... He did scrap the golem. Or he did. But, like, I don't know what... I don't know why it's not scrapping this golem, though. Like, there's a trick to this. <laughs> I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> Whatever. Um, The hand's confusing me right now. Just because it says certain features are meant to work certain ways. And I don't know how they're working those ways anymore. Unless this scrap punch things maybe after a certain few seconds, but I don't know how many seconds it is. Either way, you can experiment with that yourselves, I suppose. But right then, anyway, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the show. Oh, God, I've still got that one. I forgot about that. Da. All right. Anyway, that's been the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure mod. Link will be in the description down below if you want to check the mod out. I'd recommend it if you're a JoJo's fan. It's quite fun. Um, I have a good, bit of, I have a good laugh with it. Uh, plus, yeah, some of the get some of the stands actually have very few abilities. Obviously, in this version, you're not going to want to use, like, the World or Star Platinum as much, because they're currently, you know, not got all their abilities. But, come the future, you know, if they're getting remade, eventually we'll hopefully have those abilities again. But for now, you've still got ones like, you know, Magician's Red, Silver Chariot, uh, the Emperor, which, yeah, he's supposed to, the bills are supposed to go towards mobs, I think, but they don't right now. 
But I guess that's another thing that's just getting reworked because he was being a bit glitchy in the old versions as well. Uh, but yeah, and also, yeah, Crazy Diamond and especially the hand who's had a lot of work done to him currently because cause it's unique abilities. Either that must be either uh, Night Demon's favorite stand or he, he just really likes that ability because he can do so much with it because you can be quite, quite creative with it. But yeah, either way, I don't blame the guy. <laughs> it's a pretty cool one. Right. Anyway then, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all next time for whatever Minecraft mod I end up doing next as a review, which, I don't know, just any anime ones that got updated. I'm always thrilled to find. Actually, if you know any good anime uh, mods that I've not currently reviewed, feel free to recommend them in the comment section down below. I love finding new anime mods and reviewing them. But right, anyway then, thank you all for watching. See you next time for another Minecraft mod review. Goodbye, everybody.